Now, as you can see, I am in Minecraft. And this uh, flare effect, this is just how my phone camera is filming. So, my engine is not only not impressive yet, it has a few things that I actually didn't talk about as well. Which makes my engine pretty mediocre. The biggest problem is not going to be the ray tracing, as it seems. The biggest problem is going to be loading chunks and managing huge, uh, huge amounts of data. I have to still rebuild a few things. Now, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to prepare a field command from this block to this tower right here. In Minecraft, see how long it would take to fill the whole thing. Uh, I hope it will take less than 4 seconds, and at the same time, this will mean that I'm... Okay, actually, in my engine, right, this action would take about 200 milliseconds. So, this shouldn't take even a second to fill in, in Minecraft. Otherwise, Minecraft is a little bit behind already. So, let's see what happens. So, prepare the code. I'm gonna fill this area with stone. And... Let's see. And here you go! This is very interesting. Um, I cannot actually fill this area in. You can only fill... 32,000 blocks, and I have selected 54,000 blocks. Isn't that interesting? I cannot even test this. Now, obviously, I could do a multiple fill commands firing at once which I don't want to test like why should I waste time on that so instead I'm just gonna show you the most optimized thing I have found on unity when it comes to voxels this is a voxel performance it's called unity asset if I run this it takes four seconds to create this mesh. I can replicate it, uh, the process by duplication, and it will take four seconds again. But the big deal that here that uh, drags down everything, all this great thing. I I, I don't think I, I would be able to actually achieve. Four millisec four seconds that easily. My engine spawns blocks for some reason slower than it takes to create meshes. But right now, as I have created these giant structures, and these are uh, uh, two hundred fifty times two hundred fifty in each. Uh, you know, axes because these are cubes. So you ha you have insane amount of stuff, and just for me to spawn uh, a one twenty seventh of this cube, for me it takes two hundred milliseconds. So it it would take six uh, six seconds to actually load the cube, maybe even more or less. I don't know. But uh, I don't think I would fit in four seconds, which is kind of weird. The only thing that I am glad to see and why it will not work on polygons and why I don't like polygons uh, is even with this great performance thing, obviously it's not optimized and you would unload chunks, right? But uh, if you have so many polygons in the view or just in the game in general because I can look away and I only get like 
well, actually it's a pretty decent boost. I get up to 60 frames per second. If I look into the structures, I get 20 frames per second. So it's still pretty good performance compares in comparison to what I can achieve. And this is going to be my next milestone, right? Not only I have to deal with data in general, because let's let me show you something about my engine. So yeah, it, this is two two hundred milliseconds for a sponge of sixty four. But uh, what I w was loading. Uh, with polygons, I was loading 250 times 250. So what? I can make the calculations. Oh, calculation. So I was loading. Uh, two. 160,000 blocks as you remember from Minecraft I, I'm only allowed to do around 32,000 which is eight times less of what I just casually lo load in my uh, engine right I just casually load eight times more at the same time in this voxel performance let's see how much I actually load Oh boy, 15 million in 4 seconds, okay, that's crazy, I mean, if everything fails, like, I still have this voxel performance thing, and I can just use that instead, even though I don't want to, it seems like a very viable option, so... I, I don't want to because it's, it's so complicated to work with polygons. It's just not worth it. And there's a lot of uh, opportunities that you miss that I gain through ray tracing. It's, it's very interesting. And I'm going to explore those and explain what the hell is going on. But uh, if I divide this by 32,000, I get... I'm basically loading 500 times what I am limited to load in Minecraft through commands, right? 500 times in four seconds. Ugh. And I actually forgot what the number was. It's like 250,000 or something. So let's bring back that number again. But if I compare this to my Uh, to the structure that I can load, and I'm gonna show you what the structure is. I get 62 times, and which would mean it would take 12 seconds, around 12 seconds to load. That is insane. How do these guys do it? Creating a mesh like this is unbelievable. Now, this mesh is created using GPU, first of all. But I, w I might just have to dig around a little bit more because I don't understand how this could be so fast. This is literally 15 million blocks being loaded casually. Like, wow. Wow. So, if I go to my engine, I'll ju just try to run this. And I'm gonna disappoint you guys. But also, it's not going to be too disappointing, because I'm going to show you guys another feature. Is this feature active right now? Yep, yep, it's active. If I look into the block, the block is actually shaded. Yeah. This black border, you can interpret that as a texture. Right? And I achieved this by checking whether the ray escapes the block very quickly. If it doesn't do that, then 
uh, it uh, it keeps the color this way you can kind of detect a border of the block kind of I will have to reset this I actually wonder if my reset button is gonna work I just I just wanted to add a reset button where is it um, update please here we go yeah I think I implemented that so let's see if my reset button works there are some lag issues if I stay in the engine for too long so I can definitely reset this and see if it persists this is where I spawn a block and I show you guys the misconception that could easily happen because of the random points on the screen it seems like well it's infinite but it's, it still showcases the ray tracing capability like it can go pretty far it can do crazy things and I can see quite far with ray tracing right I can see like four blocks of content as you can see here and these four blocks is exactly what I've been talking about these are 64 by 64 with a bunch of holes so it actually is even less even less uh, than 64 times 64 I just uh, obviously with polygons this would actually mean more polygons that you have to load because of all these holes uh, but in ray tracing you don't have this limitation and it actually looks pretty nice if you zoom in into these holes with uh, this shader I've been fascinated you know to know to learn that well I can easily implement textures with this every single block can actually have a texture here so looking through these it's pretty trippy so yeah I'm gonna reset again, build the blocks again, so that's pretty nice. I didn't have to make a texture for these blocks. I just write a little bit of quick code and bam. This is this is cool. So So the first problem, the main problem, is gonna be the question of how am I going to extend my viewpoint because my viewpoint is as much as I can see this block I can see this block and every other block is just uh, a copy I am just uh, ray tracing through the same field uh, warping around it's, it's kind of like a mirror effect huh even if I restart the lag doesn't uh, doesn't disappear the lag still persists so that's why I don't that's what kind of problem I had and again I tried to implement a reset button but it doesn't work so there is another hidden issue of just some kind of a memory overload which I don't understand yet so there's a lot of things I don't understand and I just I just want to make a game guys eventually once I fix this one more issue all right so I think I've shown you enough we'll see how well I can extend this view space uh, and there are a few more methods I can check until then see you guys